Hi students, welcome all of you in video series of NCRT exemplar problems. In this video, I am going to explain chapter number 14, electric current and its effect. So let us start with exemplar problems. Question number one, when an electric current flows through a copper wire AB as shown in figure 14.1, then the wire deflects a magnetic needle placed near it. So option A is the correct one. Actually, what happens? when uh, current carries <coughs> uh, when a wire carries a current then it start behaving like a magnet with a magnetic field around it and uh, strength of magnetic field depend on the amount of current which passes through it if greater is the amount of current then greater magnetic field will be produces and this magnetic field creates deflection in the magnetic needle which is placed near the electric wire now move to question number two choose the statement which is not correct in case of an electric fuse so option one fuses are inserted in electric circuits of all building this is absolutely correct and there is a maximum limit on the current which can safely flow through the electric circuits this is also correct and there is minimum limit on the current which can safely flow in the electric circuit this is wrong because uh, there is maximum limit on the current which can safely flow in the electric current. So, here maximum limit in ko likhna tha. That is why this statement is wrong. And if a proper fuse is inserted in a circuit, it will blow off if current exceeds the safe limit. This is also correct. Now, question number third. Three bulbs A, B, C are connected in a circuit as shown in figure 14.2. When the switch is on, then bulb C will glow first. Bulb B and C will glow simultaneously and A will glow after some time. All the bulbs A, B and C will glow at the same time. Option C is the correct because all the bulbs will glow, glow simultaneously because there is no lag in the time in the flow of current through the circuit. As soon as you switch on the uh, switch on the key, you connect the circuit, then all the bulbs all together glow. Question number four: When a switch is in off position, circuit starting from the positive terminal of the cell stops at the switch. Circuit is open; no current flows through it and current flows after some time now we have to choose the correct options okay correct uh, combination of the uh, correct answers so uh, here option number two and three are correct okay because uh, when the switch is in off position that is called open circuit and when switch is in on position that is called closed circuit okay so no current flows through it when switch is off then no current will flow question number five which of the following precautions need not to be taken while using electric gadgets appliances and circuits so we should never touch a lightened electric bulb connected to the mains next is we should never experiment with electric supply from the mains or a generator or an inverter. Next is we should never use just any wire or strip of metal in place of a fuse. And last option is we should never turn the switch in on position. Now, which of the following precaution need not to be taken? So option number D precaution need not to be taken switch never turn the switch in on position okay this is your your wrong option okay because to use an electric gadget or appliances we have to turn off now we have to turn off the uh, switches so statement d is wrong and rest of the options are correct question number six which property of a conducting wire is utilized in making electric fuse uh, electric fuse uh, is made of the metal uh, which is low melting point okay so low melting point of the wire is utilized uh, in making electric fuse 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सेवन नेम द डिवाइस यूज दिस डे इन प्लेस ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिक फ्यूजेस इन इलेक्ट्रिकल सर्किट्स सो एम सी बी इज यूज नाउ इन प्लेस ऑफ फ्यूज नाउ वी आर यूजिंग एम सी बी द फुल फॉर्म ऑफ एम सी बी इज मिनियचर सर्किट ब्रेकर नाउ फिलिंग द ब्लैंक्स क्वेश्चन अवर बॉडी इज अ डैश ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इज कंडक्टर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिसिटी नेक्स्ट इज एन इलेक्ट्रिक सेल प्रोड्यूसिज इलेक्ट्रिसिटी फ्रॉम दी फ्रॉम दी कैमिकल्स विच आर स्टोर्ड इन इट नेक्स्ट इज इन एन इलेक्ट्रिक सर्किट अ फ्यूज इज अ सेफ्टी डिवाइस टू प्रिवेंट द पॉसिबल फायर फोर्थ क्वेश्चन अ कंबिनेशन ऑफ टू और मोर सेल इज कॉल्ड एज अ कंबिनेशन ऑफ टू और मोर सेल्स इज कॉल्ड बैटरी होना चाहिए नाउ मूव टू क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन अनस्क्रैम्बल द फॉलोइंग बर्ड्स so these are the words uh, number वन it should be battery okay b a w t e r y and this word should be f u s e fuse and the third one should be t o r c h torch and the last one should be switch s w i t c h क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन पहेली डज नॉट हैव अ नाइट लैम्प इन हर रूम शी कवर्ड द बल्ब ऑफ हर रूम विद अ टॉवल इन द नाइट टू गेट डिम लाइट हैज शी टेकन द राइट स्टेप गिव वन रीजन टू जस्टिफाई योर आंसर सो नो द स्टेप्स टेकन बाय पहेली आर रॉन्ग बिकॉज टॉवल मे गेट बर्न ड्यू टू द हीट प्रोड्यूस बाय बल्ब एंड ऑल्सो glowing bulb unnecessarily will waste the energy now question number 11 why are compact fluorescent lamps cfls are preferred over electric bulbs compact fluorescent lamps are preferred over uh, electric bulb because uh, cfls consume less energy and uh, it uh, uh, don't uh, waste energy in the form of heat question number 12 Why is an electric fuse required in all electrical appliances? It is required because it acts as safety device and it checks excessive electric current flow. Question number thirteen: Can we use the same fuse in a geyser and a television set? Explain. No, we cannot use the same fuse in geyser and television because geyser and television set require different amount of current. You know. uh these require high voltage and television works even in uh, low voltage therefore the fuse is used uh, therefore the fuse used in these will be of different uh ratings now question number 14 name two electrical devices for each where heating effect of electric current is used so heating effect of electric current is used in geyser room heater and uh, next is magnetic effect of current is used in which device in electric bulbs and it is also used in cranes to lift the uh, magnetic materials question number 15 why do we cover plug pin holes which are within the reach of children with cello tape or plastic cover when not in use uh this we cover because uh, child may put his or her finger in the socket uh which uh, may result in electric shock and it can prove dangerous for their life question number 16 bujho made an electric electromagnet by winding 50 turns of wire over an iron screw pahel Paheli also made an electromagnet by winding hundred turns over a similar iron screw. Which electromagnet will attract more pins? Give reason. So, question number sixteen answer should be Paheli's electromagnet will attract more pins because it has more number of turns of wire on it, and if more number of turns of wire means stronger electromagnet, it will. behave like so question number 17 uh 
uh, your teacher has shown you the following activity uh, teacher has wound a long insulated piece of wire around an iron nail in the form of a coil free ends of wire are connected to a cell through a switch as shown in figure 14.3 the current is switched on and some pins are placed near the end of the nail. Okay. Now, write down any three questions that come to your mind about this activity. Okay. So, question number one. Uh, why does the nail attract the pin? This question may arise. And uh, next is, what will happen if we connect more cells in the circuit? Okay. Then uh, you can ask, uh, what will happen if we wrap the wire on the nail more tightly? Next, uh, we can say, what will happen if we use some other material like a straw in place of the nail? Then, current will not flow through it. And... Uh, the magnetic field not be produced next is what will happen if we connect more cells in the circuit this question may also arise and uh, what will happen if we use some other material like straw in place of the nail so these kind of question may arise uh, in uh, the mind of uh, you students question number 18 paheli took a wire of length 10 cm bujo took a wire of 5 cm of the same material and thickness both of them connected the wire as shown in the circuit given in figure 14.4 the current flowing in both the wires is same will the heat produced in both the cases be equal explain okay now uh, Mm, I don't think because uh, amount of heat produced in both the cases uh, will not be equal uh, because the length of wire decides the amount of heat produced in the wire. Getting it? Next is, uh, will the heat produced be same if the wires taken by them are of equal length but of different thicknesses? Explain. Answer is no. Thickness of wire decides the amount of heat produced by the wire. So, this is your correct answer. Now, I move to question number 19. How does the magnetic effect of electric current help the working of an electric bulb? Explain with the help of a diagram. So, how you are going to explain it? For this, you need to follow the NCRT uh, like diagram of electric bell. Okay. Uh, there is a metal bob. This is the piece of metal which strikes against this large piece of metal. And uh, here this is connected with the help of an electric circuit and when we supply uh, like electric current then um, due to the magnetic effect produced in this uh, green bob small bob it gets attracted toward this large piece of metal and it starts striking against it that's how electric bulb works so it's a rough diagram you can uh, draw a better diagram from ncrt book question number 20 draw the symbol or oh, symbols of the following circuit components uh, for electric cell we use like this the large line stands for plus and small line stands for minus or negative terminal and positive terminal mean to say now the next one is switch in off position when the switch in off position then the circuit will be open okay like this electric bulb that you can easily draw like this this is your electric bulb and the fourth one is battery so battery is the combination of cells uh, like this one this is another like this you can make the battery 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Questions were uh, simple and interesting at the same time. Like, subscribe and share my channel and uh, share the video with uh, your friends also till I develop my next video. Stay fit, stay fine, stay connected. Wish you all best of studies. Thank you.